Hey guys, Ag Nerd here. Just finished up baling this hay meta and we're getting ready to uh, pick it up. So, gonna that's our hay loader there, which you've seen a video to that. And uh, how that works, it just goes in and drive the truck bales on the ground goes in this little funnel here and then it catches <clears throat> this little chain has these little cleats and it grabs that it rides in this in this little funnel or tray and uh, rises it up raises it Spits it out right up there. Get up on the trailer. Get a better view. Spits it out right there. And of course I'll get my hand and grab it. And then we'll throw it down there. So um, that's what it that's what the hay loader looks like up close and personal. And uh, and the whole system there. So It's quite an ingenious machine. It has this little um, thing that sticks out where it goes on that pipe there, slides up and down, uh, allowing for terrain difference. We have these little stake pockets in this trailer. And by the way, this is a great trailer. This is one of the first gooseneck low boys that I built when I was a teacher, when I was an ag teacher. And I sold it to a uh, county extension agent, and uh, made a little short short, he passed, um, and uh, I was made aware, and I was able to buy it. And uh, man, it's a humdinger. We actually won first or second place at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo with this trailer. So I just bragging a little bit. But that's the, the hay loader. Uh, I don't know how much my sons will get picked up to see it's evening time uh, probably about six o'clock five thirty six o'clock i'm not sure but there's plenty of hay and um sorry for there's lots of wind but you know i i, I just want to talk about family farming and harvest You know, most people work a job, they leave the home, and they go to work, and they don't see their family. And farmers, ranchers, they tend to work as a family, and so they're around their family a lot. And, and so sometimes it's great because you can be yourself around your family. And there's other times when um, your family sees you for your best, and they see you for your worst. And those of you that understand what I'm talking about, um, you can relate, um, or those that can relate understand. And, uh, and and by no means am I saying I have a disgruntled or upset family because we, we get along great, but we have our moments. Uh, it, typically it's when we're working cows. I don't know why um, cows are screaming and you got a cow in the chute and um, knocking her head all around and it hit somebody and oh my gosh, everybody's just set off. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I love you um, to my wife and my two sons. And uh, thank you for everything that, that, that you guys do. Um, so, but it is, it's, it's uh, farmers and ranchers work at home. They're side by side uh, through the good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, and it might be you're, you're out moving cows or doing something in the freezing rain, or you're about to load 350 square bales uh and it's 95 degrees and 85 percent humidity so uh you got each other's backs you do what you got to do and uh and uh you know you hear me say it uh, farmsteading home homesteading ranching farming isn't for the faint of heart you have to like this you have to want to do this and uh, Every farmer, rancher, 
Christmas tree grower, they all have their own harvest times. Christmas tree farmers, you know, their harvest is, you know, end of November through the month of December. Cow producers, make no mistake, they are grass farmers. We market our grasses through our cattle, and so therefore we are grass farmers. Um, you know, row croppers, all those different pieces have their have their expectations and, and their time of harvest. So anyway, Ag Nerd here, just kind of going off the cuff, as normal, uh, but going off the cuff, just going about the, um, the challenges and the different things that, that go on. I'm gonna try to get my son to put a link to the hay loader in action. Um, I've had people ask me about what the brand of this is. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, we, me, me and my son's loaded up one day and we saw an ad in Craigslist and uh, in Weatherford actually, of no places. And uh, we drove to Weatherford, which is from uh, the East Texas area, probably about two hours away. And we threw a trailer on the back of the blue Ford there and uh, we bought this thing for a couple hundred dollars, put new tires on it. The, uh, fin the chain was broken. We fixed the chain, greased it, oiled the chain, greased everything, oiled the chain, and it hasn't stopped since. So, and we've had it now for maybe five seasons. This will be sixth, the sixth season. And uh, so, if you knew, to, if um, if you YouTubers out there know specifically what brand this is, uh, give me a comment and uh, give me uh, give me any more questions you may have. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the hit the like, hit the thumbs up. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. God bless.